Oscar winner Forrest Whitaker will soon begin performances opposite Tony winner Frank Wood in Huey, directed by Tony winner Michael Grandage. We're here today at the show's Midtown rehearsal rooms to find out all about the Broadway revival of this Eugene O'Neill classic. Talk to me about the world of Huey, where's, he, where's, where's it set? Huey the play is set in 1928 New York in a small hotel off Broadway. Couldn't be more perfect. Uh, Eerie, the main character played by Forrest Whitaker, comes from the streets off and around Times Square and lives in this hotel in room 492. Huey was the night clerk in this hotel and he died recently and he's gone off on a drunk and buried him and has come back and there's a new night clerk who doesn't engage with him in the same way. And he's quite lonely now because Huey used to give him a reason to live through his stories, through his gambling, through everything. And that's gone. What was it about Huey that made you think, yes, I'm going to make my Broadway debut in this show? You know, it's a beautiful play. It's been, it's really fascinating to watch because it has so many themes in it that are really powerful. It's a very hopeful play, actually. It's one act, isn't it? It's one act. It's one act. And it's essentially 19 pages of mostly one person talking and one person listening or not listening, depending on where you are in the story. The stakes are so high and the conflict is so not, it's not evident how you're going to render that conflict, which is what also makes it interesting, but it's so evident that there's this intense relationship that's initially lopsided. It deals with someone who you meet at the beginning, who in a way has like lost life, his reason to live, he's lost his identity. He doesn't know who he is anymore and why he exists. He's a too big gambler who's like always looking for the next sort of dopamine rush and looking for the next thing he can get, the next scam he can make. Um, but inside of it, I think we find that he has a pretty big heart. Why do you think it speaks to people? I think the central themes of Huey, loneliness, isolation, addiction, delusional behavior, all of that stuff, um, are themes that are really going to speak to people in an audience. It speaks to people because I think we're all like looking uh, to find that kind of connection in our lives. And also, uh, he's a character who, who appears not to have much going for himself but he's hopeful and he allows you to like, he keeps trying, he keeps trying, he keeps trying. And I think that spirit that he has, even though it's in like this, in the fringes of society, uh, is something that we all like look to, to just keep going and trying. And then ultimately, no matter how hard it seems, we can not find what we need, we can find ourselves. And what do you hope audiences take away with them from Huey? I hope they take away, first of all, I hope they take away that, that Eugene O'Neill is a beautiful playwright, that this was something a revelation about what people are like. You know, that when you see things that are tra that are um, adorned in the detritus of a difficult life, that inside that there are really beautiful, complex psyches that should be, you know, that you should get to know. Like all great drama, I hope they look at the play and see something of themselves and see something that speaks to them now and, and that they start a dialogue with themselves about the themes that are in the play. What they're going to get hopefully is going to be an experience that will envelop them and they'll walk out feeling like they just journeyed back into the 20s into this experience with this guy and, and these two guys and, and leave thinking, thinking a little bit more like maybe uh, that they mean something.